Hi there, my name is Ken Packwood. I work for the Fluke Corporation. I'm the lead facility mechanic. I'm also the HVAC specialist. And uh, today I'm going to take a look at a piece of equipment that I repaired several weeks ago. Um, as you can see, I'm in the janitor's closet. Uh, that's where a lot of our equipment is. For uh, those of us who are in HVAC, we're in janitor's closet, small tight places or little rooms that are seemingly abandoned. Uh, but today we're in the janitor's closet and the piece of equipment that we're going to take a look at is air handling unit number seven. Several weeks ago, um, I had a transformer fail in this unit, a control transformer. I found defective wiring. I felt found bad connections right there in the electrical compartment. Uh, I made the repairs and today I'm going to double check on my repairs and uh, make sure that the rest of our electrical is good. I'm also going to take an amp draw on the, uh, on the fan motor just to make sure there's no damage there. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is I want to de-energize power. My uh, starter contactor is here against the wall. Uh, obviously this contactor works in the hand position all the time. Uh, that's its design and so I'm just going to shut that off. I noticed that I didn't have a light in the on position so I'm going to note that. Later on I'll come back um, and after I de-energize this and I will pull this apart I will replace the operations light, uh, that's important. But for now, I've disconnected the unit, uh, disconnected the power, and because my work area is within a, a line sight of the contactor, I'm not going to lock out and tag out this particular piece of equipment. So let's open it up. We'll take a look inside, see what kind of work we, I did in there a couple of weeks ago, make sure everything's working well. And as I'm looking at all my wiring connections, everything looks really good here so far. The contactor is in good shape. Uh, none of the wires that I took apart uh, and have put back together have uh, fallen off. All my twist connectors are in good shape. And uh, everything nice and tight on the controller. Uh, that's where I did most of my activity. Also right in here, everything's still very nice and tight, nothing loose nothing coming apart and so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, my fan motor I have uh, right here a, a, a lead off the load side of the contactor, the black lead, that's the common lead on the fan motor and I have what's called a tattletail uh, on that so that uh, this communicates with the digital command system and uh, then on my laptop I can uh, take a look and make sure the fan motor is running or not and verify that. Uh, but this is the common uh, lead and this is where I'm going to take my amp draw today on my fan motor. So let's get my tool. Uh, I'm going to be using today uh, a fluke meter that's relatively new on the market. I've had it for a, uh, almost a year and I, I really like it. This is the fluke uh, 233. And uh, one of the things I like about this meter, it's uh, very versatile, volts, AC, DC, ohms millivolts. I can take temperature readings with it. Uh, I can check capacitors with it and of course amp draws. Um, but also this particular meter has a removable display. And because of that removable display, I'm not wearing FR gear today. I'm not wearing my fire resistant gear. All I have are my safety glasses and, uh, and, and just good practices. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to check the amp draw in this unit while it's live, while it's running, and I'm going to do it completely safe. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to check my test leads and the circuitry within my meter. Um, I make sure my test leads are in nice and tight. I put my meter on the ohm scale and I check continuity. I have good continuity there. That way I know my test leads are in good shape. Uh, no uh, separation in the leads and the circuitry of the meter is good. And so for now I'm going to turn that off, take these test leads off, and then I'm going to put on my clamp. Uh, my clamp attachment. So I'm testing amps. So my red lead goes in the amperage. My black lead goes in the common. I'm going to test this on a millivolt scale. And now I'm set up. I'm ready to go on a millivolt scale. And I'm going to go back inside to the compartment and find that black lead right there. I'm going to clamp onto it. My meter is on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the display off. Now this display is magnetic. I can set it off to the side right there. 
And I'm actually going to put the meter in the compartment. I'm going to use this great industrial strength magnet right here and just magnetize this to the electrical housing so nothing gets in the way of the fan motor or the belt. These magnets are great. Really nice and strong. Uh, Fluke makes those. I've got a few at home in my refrigerator. Don't tell my boss, but it's holding up the shopping list. And then I'm going to put my cover back on. Once my cover is back in place, I can energize the circuit. I can get an amp draw on this motor. And then we'll go over to the starter contactor, energize it, energize the controller, wait for the fan to come on. Once the fan comes on, I'll be able to get a, an amp reading without using any PPE other than my safety glasses. I expect to see about 2.3, or excuse me, uh, three, less than 3.2 amps on this motor. Right now, with the fan on a load, <clears throat> I'm drawing 2.1 amps, 2.2. Uh, I can press hold and it will capture the highest amp reading. If I'm in a dark environment, I can also turn on a backlight. I don't know if that shows up very well in the video, but um, if I'm in a, a, a dimly lit room, uh, there's backlighting. And I'm pretty satisfied with my motor. It's drawing uh, 2.3. Um, no more than 2.4 amps occasionally. And uh, I'm satisfied with my wiring satisfied with my amp draw on my fan motor and now I can, it's just a matter of de-energizing the circuit pulling my meter out closing everything back up and I'm ready to go to the next job all right so there we have it we've uh, been able to open up the electrical cabinet take a look at the transformer that I replaced all the wiring get an amp draw on the evaporative fan motor close it all back up and I got to do all that without putting on any uh, PPE other than my safety glasses and using my insulated tools and just good practices. Um, I'm able to do that because of the, uh, the meter I'm using, the 223. Um, I like the meter, I recommend it. I don't just recommend it because I work for Fluke. I recommend it because it's a practical meter for HVAC. I'm really proud to be a part of the Fluke Corporation. I've worked here four years, but I've been a long time user of Fluke tools and I recommend them to you. Thanks for joining us today. My name's Ken. I'll see you next time.